How's it going, guys? <laughs> Hope you are all doing well. Um, I know it's been quite a while since you've last heard from me, but in today's video, I just thought I'd talk a little bit about the new um, changes for expats in New Zealand. So this could be you. You might be a little bit curious as to what's just happened. What did the government just announce? How does this affect you? And um, so on and so forth. So before we start, of course, as usual, I am not a licensed immigration advisor in the slightest. All of the information that I am presenting to you now is everything that's publicly available on the Immigration New Zealand's website and of course from official sources. Now just so that we're all on the same page, basically before you can live in another country permanently you need to become a permanent resident of that country. Now to become a permanent resident first you, you know, depending on the country you need to first become a, a resident and before that you need to be on a pathway to become a resident and before you can be on a pathway to become a resident you need a visa to be able to actually enter the country in the first place so what's happened so basically you know COVID's definitely thrown a spanner into everyone's lives and so back in 2019 the moment COVID hit the New Zealand government decided to suspend any and all residency applications okay, so basically this 2021 one-off resident visa um, has a couple of criteria that you need to fulfill. So the main one is that as of the 29th of September 2021, you need to be on a visa that's listed on their list. So these are eligible visas that are eligible to apply for this resident category. So that's step one. Now step two, besides being on that relevant visa or having applied for that visa as of the 29th of September, so to subsequently be approved, you need to also fulfill one of three criteria. So one of the criteria here as it's listed is that you need to be in New Zealand uh, for the past three years. Um, so you have to have entered the country before the 29th of September, 2018. And also you need to, within that three year period from then to now, have at least spent 821 days in the country so I think during the math that period is about 1095 days so as long as you've spent 821 of those days here in the country you qualify and under that criteria or if you don't qualify for that you need to have as of the 29th on oh, sorry on the 29th of September 2021 earn at or above $27 an hour so this is the median wage for New Zealand or you need to be on a uh, you need to be working in a role that's on a scarce list. So remember, the main criteria criteria is being on that eligible visa, and then you need to fill in one of these three criteria listed below. Um, so so that's pretty much it. So unfortunately, uh, not everyone uh, will be able to get it. So uh, people who are on visitors visas, people who are on student visas, on working holiday visas, they unfortunately do not qualify. But yeah, that's that's the key uh, there. So as long as you meet all these criteria, then yes, you can apply for the 2021 resident visa category. So now the thing is, with this resident visa, it is opening up in two phases. So phase one is this December 2021 and so basically this will be the phase where people who have already submitted their application under a separate pathway or a separate category um, you know they can reapply under this category to speed things along now of course you know um, there is a fee to all of this so I'm not sure I'm sure they'll announce you know whether or not they're going to deduct the fees or whether you need to top up the difference or anything like that um, and then the second criteria for those that can apply in December is for people who have submitted their expressions of interest and they have a dependent child uh, that they're, they've submitted with them. So at the moment, I can see it's um, you know children age 17 plus, but yeah, that's the thing. This is all subject to change, of course, and we'll know more as the days go by. Um, and so for everyone else, 1st of March 2022 is when they can apply. So you best believe that I will be taking the day off so I can prepare. Well, obviously, I'm preparing my documents now. Um, but, you know, if it's going to be anything like the working holiday visa that I had applied for all those years back, it's going to be hectic, my man. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's gonna be, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna take the day off and I'm just gonna make sure that I have, you know, the fastest internet possible so I can apply, get it over and done with. Because honestly, it's been, it's been tough. It's been tough. I mean, 
Look, having to constantly worry about your visa status um, is something that I wouldn't want to wish on my worst enemy. And also just having to worry about, okay, you know, what's going to happen next um, is also something that I wouldn't want to wish on anyone. Like, look, uncertainty is just crazy and no one wants to be living in a state of limbo. So this, these announcements, this announcement is definitely sort of helped shed some more, you know, reassurance for those onshore. Now, the only other side of the equation is for those who are stuck abroad and, you know, can't even get in because that's the whole thing about New Zealand. Um, at the moment, what the government said is they've closed off all the borders um, except to, of course, permanent residents and citizens. And if you're on a work visa, you can only come in if they grant you a border exception. And 99.9% .9 of the time, that's not really going to be granted unless, of course, you know, you're a doctor or you're a critical purpose, you know, you have a critical purpose or a reason to, to be in the country. That's just... That's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, if anything, of course, this information is subject to change. So always, always, always follow Immigration New Zealand's website. Now, even, you know, in the next two, three days or the next week, this video might not be, you know, relevant anymore either. So you have to make sure you look at the dates when things are posted as well. So you, you know, know exactly so that you have the relevant information in front of you at all times.